Bella Binney. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I go by either Bella or Thinny. You can call me either or. This is my first studio vlog video on this channel. I usually do crafty or planner or scrapbooking or doodling videos, but I've never done a vlog video on YouTube. I vlog over on Instagram stories, but I've never done a YouTube video. So I really hope you like my studio vlog. Before we go any further, I want to introduce my lovely sponsor for this video, FlexiSpot. They reached out to me and kindly gifted me the FlexiSpot EM6M desk riser in white to try. This desk riser is meant to go on the top of your table and is an all-in-one workspace that allows you to work standing up or sitting down. It's available on Amazon and I'll have the link to it in the description box below. So I have this super messy walk-in closet in this office that I have converted into a mini office. Actually, let me give you a little bit of context. Shamim and I live in a pretty small two-bedroom condo, and the second bedroom has been converted into my art studio slash office for my sticker shop slash guest room. So it's trying to do a whole lot of things, this room, which means we just have to make this every single space in this room as functional as possible. So a while back, Shamim converted the closet into his own little office. Um, it's an area for cutting stickers. But I'm taking over most of his duties now. Duties. That word always makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm taking over most of his um, role in the business now. So that means that I'll be cutting the stickers and I just want to take over that closet office and just make it into a space that's more of my own. So when FlexiSpot reached out to me, I felt like it was meant to be because the main reason why I don't like working in that little closet office um, ever since I took over the office is because I have to hunch over and use my laptop and then like stand back up and use my cutting machines and it just it wasn't working for me actually let me just show you what the closet looks like so that it would just make more sense instead of me just blabbing about it yeah come along okay so this is what the office looks like right now it is a mess um it's gonna take some time I can't just do this all in one go I've been slowly working on things like why do I have socks here why I don't even know so uh, it's been an ongoing project of like decluttering buying new furniture pieces tonight my only goal is to take care of this area clear this hall up and just have a clear space just for this part this office used to be Shamim's space, and I never came in here to clean it. He just kind of cleared some of the mess that was already in here to make a little spot for him, but he never did a deep cleaning. So clearing out the stuff he had on top of this table and cleaning it with my all-purpose cleaner was so satisfying. And now it's the perfect spot to set up my new desk riser. I'm so surprised. I thought we were going to have to assemble things like we usually do for IKEA furniture, but it comes pre-assembled. All you have to do is take it out of the box and then just plug it in. Okay, so it says after plugging in the power, long press the up button to adjust the riser to a suitable height. So it looks like you just... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, that's so cool! What about... Yeah, can it just stop anywhere? Oh, it does stop anywhere. That's awesome! Oh! Okay, can you stop playing with it? No, wait. I absolutely love my desk riser. The quality of it is amazing. I love that it's white, and I love that it's so easily cleanable. The surface is really nice. FlexiSpot also gives you four extra pieces that you can easily attach to the sides or the back. It's so easy. like It just snaps right in. I chose to put one cup holder and a table on the sides. Um, I don't know how I'm going to decorate it yet, but we'll see. The desk riser goes up and down so smoothly and quickly, and that just makes it super easy to switch from sitting to standing whenever I want. This little closet office is my design area, and I feel like it's slowly coming together, especially after setting up the desk riser. It's going to allow me to work longer and in a healthier way, too, because usually after sitting in my chair for hours, either when I'm editing or when I'm designing um, stickers, 
my upper back starts hurting a lot. But now I can sit and design my sticker cut files and then when it's time to cut them on my machines, I can easily raise my laptop up so that I can go back and forth from my cutting machine to the program I use on my laptop without hunching down and without hurting my back. Now that I have the desk riser set up and I can at least function in this office to design stickers and cut them, I just want to start working on the rest of this random clutter. This is um, stuff that I organized after a major declutter. I had a huge uh, studio declutter probably like during COVID in the beginning during the pandemic um, lockdown and I got rid of a lot of notebooks and journals and planner supplies and just brought it down to the ones that I know I'll use eventually. I just don't think that these two bins are the perfect containers for them because they're not things that I am looking through or grabbing. This is stuff that could just be put away somewhere, maybe up there. Yeah, or maybe I should use one of these containers to just put it away. Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's see what happens. See, like this is a sketchbook that I bought for myself for a birthday a long time ago. I don't want to get rid of it. I also haven't sketched in a sketchbook in a long time, but I know I will use it. So these are planners that I got from 2020, but they're undated and I know I will use it eventually. Maybe I won't. Maybe I think I will, but I won't. But it's just so cute because the pages are pink and it's hourly. I just know I don't need it for this year, but maybe next year. Oh yeah, this is a sketchbook that I was using in the past. So I should keep this one out so that it's handy. This should only have planners that are unused and scrapbook albums that are unused, but I know I wanna keep. These are extra planner covers that I loved from previous planners, so I just kept it. If I ever want to make something later, this one was my one of my favorite covers ever. So I'm keeping these. I was actually able to fit both of these containers into this one. So that makes me feel so good. It also helps me stay decluttered because I know I have this bin. Like this bin is my limit of how many books and journals I can buy so until I can make room in this basket I won't buy a new one or will I <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so that's my new planner section this is completely empty um I like how this is organized so I'm not going to change that I think the next time I work on this makeover I'm gonna spruce this up just clean this area up and then work on this section. It's semi-organized, so it shouldn't be that tedious. But I'm going to save that for the next vlog because I'm tired and I don't want to declutter anymore. So I think I'm going to slowly revamp that office closet. I've been thinking about it today and I just feel like it's going to take some time. Um, especially because I have a lot of decluttering left to do. So it looks pretty bare bones right now, but I just got the basics in with the desk riser so that I can actually function and work in that space. It's just not cute yet, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I should do little vlogs of the process as I slowly work on the closet and then just like upload um, little mini vlogs like I did for this one. Um, whenever I do work on the closet or if you'd like me to just collect all the footage and wait to create one big vlog video later on with the whole process so please let me know in the comments down below what you prefer to see thank you so much for watching the first part of my office closet makeover thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all next week bye